Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Ply Center AstroVed's Power Time Practice here on the 15th of February, 2020. My name is Sutrita, for those of you who don't know me, wishing you all a very warm welcome. And I am stationed in India after Dr. Ply's birthday trip. I stayed on, and uh, I'm so happy to be here for another several weeks. And uh, this is the land of Shiva. So we are going to be experiencing uh, a celebration this time of the year. Next week, it's going to be on February 21st, 2020 in the US. Uh, and then in uh, IST time is going to be on the 22nd. So it is an opportunity for all of us to wipe out really challenging karmas and then remove ignorance and remind ourselves that life isn't about pain and suffering, even though on a daily basis, most of us wake up in either emotional pain or physical pain or uh, mental pain or spiritual pain even, and we feel the pain of others. Especially people on the spiritual path, they absorb the negativity in uh, the space around them, the people around them. We're like sponges. So how do we remove that? Well, once a year, as Dr. Ply shares, is a powerful time to come together and honor Lord Shiva, the God of prosperity and enlightenment. And it is a powerful new moon where you can erase Karmas that are coming from thousands and thousands of lifetimes. Now, what does that mean? Karma is thinking. It's our thought patterns. It's our behaviors. It's the way we uh, navigate the earth plane at any given point in time, whether it's this lifetime or previous lifetimes or future lifetimes. So this great night of Shiva is all about having no mind. So it's on a new moon as Dr. Ply shares in videos. You can check them out on Ply Center or Ashraved, really short video clips, but very powerful messages that he conveys about why it's so important to keep vigil. So what is a vigil? It means stay up all night and not party and not watch movies and TV just to stay awake. It's to participate in honoring Lord Shiva, which is none other than the God consciousness inside of you that says, hey, are you ready to live a prosperous life? Are you ready to live an enlightened life? Because we're like hamsters on the wheel or we're on, in the rat race or we're just doing the same thing over and over and over again, expecting different results, either in this lifetime or in many lifetimes in the past and then also ahead of us. We don't even know what the karmas are or what we are going to be doing. So we keep doing this uh, karmic wheel that goes round and round and round. And then we just kind of get sick of it at some point. So during this 12 hour vigil that you're so welcome to participate in, and I'll share about that in a moment, uh, so during the 12 hour vigil, just like Christ did with his apostles when he was turning the body into light, it looked like he was dying and suffering and all the rest. And he was in the sense of the human uh, being. However, he was a highly evolved spiritual being. So he knew to turn the body into light and then to uh, encourage all of us to do that as well. So he took on the suffering of humanity. So the night before he uh, got on the cross and uh, all the rest, he said to his apostles, his disciples, hey, you guys stay up, just stay up and bring in the consciousness. So Jesus was the guy, but the man with Christ's consciousness was the consciousness that was coming to the earth plane. So uh, much to his dismay, they didn't uh, because that's what it is during dark times. Those were very, very dark times a couple thousand years ago. And fast forward now, we have all this smart technology, but are we really smart? Is it making us smart uh, in the sense of, are we able to relieve everyone of suffering and pain that Christ wanted to do, bringing Christ consciousness to the earth plane a couple thousand years ago. So what, when we keep a vigil, it means that 
We're going to do something during that time. So from 6 p.m. Uh, Pacific time to 6 a.m. Pacific time. And that translates to or converts to 9 p.m. Eastern time or uh, to 9 a.m. Uh, Eastern time the next day. So you're, we're going to go all night long where we are going to honor Lord Shiva. And it's simple, simple, simple to do. You get into the great night of Shiva. It's Applied Center Academy course. And it's an evergreen course, so you'll have it forever. However, just like we did last year uh, with all those people who joined the course, we got together on the great night of Shiva starting at 6 p.m. Pacific time. And you'll receive an email reminder and everything else. And there's a link in the course where you can just go right into the course if you don't receive the link in your email. And you go right into the course and it's right at the top, 2020 vigil and uh, live teacher call details. So you just go in and click on that and then you'll be able to come into Zoom just like now. And then I will guide you. I'm so happy to do that. It's such an honor and a pleasure to uh, be with everyone and take us through a journey with Dr. Pillai where every kala, so it's a period of time, uh, every three hours where uh, we are going to get an initiation, a very special initiation from Dr. Pillai. And then we will uh, do the Abhishekam or the elementalization and the puja or the energization of the Shiva Lingam. And at that time as well. And then we will take a little break and then come back in and go to the next color, the time period of three hours. And we'll repeat that uh, four times. And then what happens is when we're doing something like that, we have so much energy. We're staying awake. We're staying alert. We're feeling Shiva consciousness come into the earth plane, come and wake up uh, inside of us that prosperity and enlightenment that we haven't been able to experience because of the karmas or because of our ignorance. We're so busy doing, 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 you know, on the rat race uh, hamster wheel. So we become very robotic in life. Even our meditations and our spiritual practices can be very mechanical. So we need to shake it up and who is better to shake it up than Lord Shiva. So on that new moon, new moon means no mind. So the moon and the mind are very uh, profoundly connected. And that's the Siddha secrets is that once we get clarity from the cosmos, from this night of Shiva that's going on in the cosmos as above in heaven, so it is here on the earth plane. So whether we are tuning in or not, and hopefully you will, you will experience this beaming in of energy into your third eye, into your brain, into all the naughty channels in your uh, energy bodies. So we have many different layers or aspects to our being and how do we erase the karmas in all those layers uh, is to come and participate in the 12 hour vigil on that night, great night of Shiva. And if you can't, for whatever reason, you should be able to though, <laughs> but for whatever reason you can't, then you can participate in sponsoring. There's something like 320 temples where Dr. Pillai's organization has created these uh, rituals that are going to be going on all at once, all over India. And uh, so 320 Shiva Lingams in these power spots are going to be activated. And when that happens, it's going to create this wave of Shiva consciousness, this network of energy that is going to go across the, wall, the whole world like the pebble in the pond. So we are going to be throwing that pebble into the pond in India, activating all the power spots, all those Shiva Lingams in those power spots that have been identified by the Siddhas and then given to Dr. Pillai through different readings, Naughty Leaf readings, and also in his meditations. And it is the time where we need to remove the ignorance. We cannot keep going as a human race 
expecting to evolve when we're just running around in circles. So this is a great opportunity for uh, you to participate, to sponsor uh, these huge yagyas, these huge rituals that are going to be going on. And when you do at the level of the soul, you will have done the uh, world, a world of good. And also the divine will be so happy because you uh, participated in this. And then of course, the divine is inside of you and then things will start to really shift for you in a very profound way, in a very unique way. So from year to year, when we participate in Maha Shiva, Shivaratri, Maha means great. And then Shiva is the God of prosperity and enlightenment or that ability to harmonize masculine and feminine energy inside of you. And then uh, Ratri means night. So the great night of this harmony within, peace within, prosperity, enlightenment, removal of ignorance, removal of everything that's slow and draining us, our energy, we get the life sucked out of us. So when we participate in this, uh, either sponsoring the services that are offered through Ply Center Asphalt or coming and joining the Ply Center Academy, Great Night of Shiva course, or doing it on your own. If you can't afford it, it's not in your budget. There are so many free YouTubes on Ply Center and on Ashraved where Dr. Ply has given out teachings over the years where you can also keep vigil and then you can uh, do follow those teachings, those free teachings. So that's what it is to uh, enlighten your life, enlighten your soul, enlighten yourself and lighten your load and feel that experience through and through. And then when we do that, then uh, the divine descends into the different aspects of our lives and enlightens those in our lives who may uh, not be on a spiritual path. So we're here to evolve. And this is the time of the year where a huge uh, download or upgrade comes for us to experience enlightenment in a whole new way. So uh, again, it's going to be, we're going to be honoring the five elements. So na is the sound for the earth. And then ma is the sound for water. And then she is the sound for fire. Va is the sound for air or prana, even subtler air, the life force energy, that which enlivens this, this body. It is the energy of the soul. Without it, without the prana, without the soul's consciousness, this body is just a hunk of flesh and bones, bag of bones and guts and blood and stuff. So it animates this uh, being and then uh, that keeps it alive. So that's uh, va, and then uh, ya is the sound for the space or the ether, the akash. And why do we want to access the ether or the akash or the space is because that's where the akashic records are kept. And for those of you who don't know what the akashic records are, they are the records or the recording of every single thought that any human being has ever had, ever and will ever always have. So that's where the mythotherapy comes in, is the myths are true forever. So there are these cosmic plays, these divine plays that are going on all the time in eternity. And then during this time-space continuum here on the earth plane, we log on to it. It's like we get an immediate Wi-Fi connection or Netflix maybe, <laughs> you just dial up and you put on your Netflix and then you hang out with the play that is going on at Shivaratri. And so what is that play? It's the, to destroy anything that's negative in your life, to remove your, the suffering at so many different levels for you, your family members, your community, your workplace, and the world at large. So it's a no kidding kind of thing where you just may say, oh, I don't really believe in it. You don't have to just come and participate in the 12 hour vigil or participate in sponsoring these 
services that are going on. And then at the level of the soul, you will have wiped out millions, Dr. Ply says, millions of lifetimes of meditation. So we're trying to meditate every day and most of us can't even meditate for one minute. Even if we sit down and we're meditating for uh, 20 minutes, listening to a chant or we're listening to one of our Ply Center courses, um, meditations or the YouTube meditations. And where are, where's our thoughts? They're all over the map. They're like a monkey. Just, oh my God, I got to pick up the kids. Oh, I have to cook. What am I going to buy for groceries? Oh, geez, I got to get ready. I got to get, fly, I'm going to be flying out tomorrow. Oh, if I don't pack up and do laundry and all the, So all this stuff is going on. And then, oh my God, the bills. And then uh, the health and the health of our family members. So this is the human condition. It is a mosh pit. So for one night, you can experience, as so many people have shared uh, over the years that we have been participating in this all-night vigil, is that, they, first of all, they can't believe that they did it. And secondly, they went to work. They just carried on and went to work or went off and did the things that they needed to do for their family or whatever they were doing. They didn't sleep. They couldn't because the divine had gotten into them and gave them an experience of eternity and an experience of enlightenment where there's no pain, no suffering. You have the energy to do everything. Even though you may think, oh, life sucks. You'll just have this energy inside of you that says you're, you're beyond this life. You're beyond what is going on karmically speaking what you're doing every day, what you're thinking. So there's the beyond, the beyond uh, energy that comes in. And it's so palpable and it's so lovely, especially being a Ply Center teacher and then carrying on and going, oh my God, these people are amazing. And they stayed right to the very end. Uh, and they continued on. There was like, yes, let's celebrate. So it's not often that we can experience deep, profound, and prophetic meditation. So many people had uh, these prophetic visions where after Shivaratri, those things came true throughout the year. And the karma became lighter, and they became more happy in their life. And they saw in their lives or observed in their lives the happiness the true happiness uh, of being alive and being able to uh, experience life here on the earth plane in a whole new way. So it's kind of like you're touching the earth plane, but you're also connected to the cosmos and you feel it so oh, profoundly. And then that energy will always be available. Even though uh, the great night of Shiva will be over after that 12 hour vigil, you will continue to connect with Lord Shiva's energy. And what does he do? He opens the third eye. So many people say, oh, my third eye is open. I'm clairvoyant. I'm clairaudient. To Shiva, that's just parlor tricks. It's just party tricks. So it may be true. Yes, you have some uh, extrasensory perceptive abilities. However, what are you doing with it? Are you just entertaining yourself or entertaining others? If you have the third eye open, which Lord Shiva can give you, then you can, uh, just by your presence, just by your being, you can heal others. You don't even think, you're not even thinking. Healing energy is coming through you. And then you are giving those uh, blessings you don't even know, uh, maybe at a distance, like Reiki on steroids. So uh, you might be have the thought of someone who is ill and then all of a sudden they are connecting with your energy and then you uh, are getting the blessings of Lord Shiva pouring through them and then all of a sudden they are uh, on the mend if not healed. Did you do it? No. So the third eye is all about you are getting out of the way of the divine getting into you and then filling you up with enlightenment and then you all will all already automatically being start living a prosperous life or 
uh, creating prosperity, consciousness in everything that you do. So there will be no negative thinking, oh, I can't get the job or I don't qualify or I'm not good enough or I'm not beautiful enough or I'm not educated enough and so on. All that blah, blah just goes away. It doesn't even exist. It can't come in to the brain because the third eye is that third eye of fire. Air. So consciousness is everything and consciousness is represented by fire. So we get fired up when we want to create something and out of nowhere things will happen for us. We'll meet the right people at the right time and we'll be talking and we'll be, well, how did this happen? So much like it did in, when we were on the uh, birthday trip with Dr. Pillai, Dr. Pillai's 71st birthday, uh, was celebrated recently, as I mentioned earlier, we met so many people, so many fabulous people from around the world on this journey with Dr. Ply, going to pretty much a new place every day. So it was a true pilgrimage. However, everyone was so energized and, and had, we had like about three or four hours sleep a night. We we're traveling uh, hundreds, thousands of miles uh, throughout the whole time and going to power spots that were super incredible and not so easy to get into if you're a Westerner, you're non-Indian uh, and from the Indian tradition. So we had miracle after miracle after miracle and that's what it is to be enlightened. Now, if you didn't go on Dr. Ply's birthday trip, you can join Proxy. And then uh, there's a course in Ply Center Academy and it's called Dr. Ply's 2020 proxy course. And so you will get all the teachings. And then right now we have live calls uh, that are being uh, facilitated by Ply Center teachers. I'm gonna be doing the final one. I believe it's next week or maybe the week after where we go through all the teachings that were uh, given out the initiations by Dr. Pillai and then helping everyone to stay on track. So that's what it is to be on the fast track with the divine, to, to be in this world, but not of it, to be able to connect with these divine beings and receive the initiations. People think initiation is a one time, a one off. It's not. It's the start, like you get up and you go into your car and you just press the button for the ignition or you have a remote ignition or you do old school and turn the key. You turn it on and then uh, you will go about and do whatever it is that you need to do. Someone, am I still here? Someone is um, mm, signed in. Can you still hear me? Can you see me? Okay, great. It's very strange. So someone has signed in. Okay, so Sorry, everyone. <laughs> there we go. So uh, there's, there's what happens. So in life, life throws us curveballs all the time, but do we get upset? Do we, how do we act? Are we reacting over and over and over? Or are we staying centered within ourselves? And how does, what does that feel like? Well, being on the path with Dr. Ply and the path of the Siddha tradition that he hails from, you will experience these initiations, this turning on of your soul's engine in a very profound, very unique way. Whether you, again, whether you participate in the Great Night of Shiva, where you're sponsoring remedies that are going on around the world. Uh, around India and around the world and also connecting with everyone who is also sponsoring. You'll feel this community, this communion of the souls in such a profound way, such that when you meet them in person, like we did on the India trip with so many people, it's just like, wow, we're all dressed in kind of like cotton shirts and pants that look like pajamas. 
and we don't even know what each other does for a living, but we're just beaming with divinity and then uh, having conversations that are so supercharged and highly enlightened and highly evolved and super joyous and happy. And then the miracles that were happening along the way, it inspired us to uh, now take action in our lives so that we're not messing around anymore. We're not going uh, about our lives unconsciously or uh, ignoring the fact that we had this tremendous experience. So the proxy course is there for you, whether you're going to join the live calls or not, they'll be recorded so you can review them. Get into that course because that is the course of 2020, as Dr. Ply shares. It, whenever the master comes to the earth plane, as many masters have, their duty, their karmic duty or their dharma, dharmic duty is to enliven the souls that are coming. So how do they know? It's at the soul level. So it's not the, the person that you see in the picture, Dr. Ply, although he's beaming with energy here. And I'm also in his guest house. He's right above me. And uh, so you may be experiencing a lot of energy uh, coming through. And God bless you all, because it, we need to remove the darkness. We, we need to remove the ignorance that says, no, 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 I don't need to do that. I don't, I'm taking other courses. But this is the life of the fast track. If you can be in the, every moment is new, like the Siddha tradition, every moment is new. You can drop your old ways of being and get energized, get that uh, in, inspiration. So what is inspiration? It's the spirit moving within you to clean out anything that's dragging you down in your physical body. So your health and well-being will be illuminated. Your, uh, the way you think will be so much uh, quick and sh quicker and sharper. And then you will have the ability to uh, communicate with people where they will be listening to you. So many people have shared, you know, how come so-and-so is in a position and I'm so much smarter than them or more educated or have more experience. You also have baggages, bags and bags and of karma. So we're trying to erase the karma as Dr. Ply shared. Mahashivaratri is about that. So it's worth millions of years or lifetimes of meditation where you would have to sit in om 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 till the cows come home and not even get it in that lifetime get, erase all the stuff in that lifetime and then you come back again and trying to do it again so this is the time 2020 where the it's so much more enlightened in the world people i was just sharing with lots of people who've been on the spiritual path for many decades and we were reminiscing about what it was you know maybe even just 10 years ago like meditation <laughs> You know, and now everybody's uh, meditating on Wall Street. Everyone is a guru. Everyone does mantras. Everyone uh, is doing into rituals. This is the big thing. So we're going to do a ritual and honor uh, Lord Shiva as a preview or prepare you to experience what you need to do uh, to get uh, into your practice during the Great Night of Shiva. Uh, and if you can't, then thereafter, you can, if you come back to the course or you come back to your spiritual practices, the doorway will be opened. And then you will continue to commune with Lord Shiva because again, Lord Shiva is energy and intelligence. So it's that masculine and feminine energy that comes together inside of us in the cosmos wiping out the Akashic records that aren't serving us and then allowing us to create a new reality. So super easy. You don't even think. So again, the new moon is the new, the great night of Shiva during this month uh, between uh, mid-Feb, mid-March. Mid so it's a time period where the cosmos opens up and the beams come in and then we pick it up with our brain. So the mind set will be to experience prosperity and enlightenment. How do we do that? So we get back to the five elements, earth, water, fire, air, and space. And we honor that because they're the building blocks of each and every one of us. 
not only physically, but also metaphysically uh, in the subtle bodies and all the astral bodies. And then all beings are uh, composed of this on the earth plane and on other planes as well. So what we want to do is we want to rock our chakras. So starting at the base of the spine is the earth element. Na is the sound that is the key or the ignition that starts that energy up in that uh, lower chakra. So the legs might start to feel this he heaviness, this energy coming in because it's the earth elements. And what does the earth element represent? Diamonds, gold, anything to do with prosperity on the earth plane, success. So na is a sound and then ma is will activate the belly or the navel chakra. And then the navel chakra is that which is full of water and it cleanses. And what is water? Water is the sound ma in Sanskrit and ma is the sound for money. So water flows like a current and then money flows like currency. So then you get into the heart center in the middle of the chest in the subtle body and that is fire. And then also you might feel that energy of fire pouring down your shoulders, burning off the heavy karmic weight on your shoulders. And then you'll feel it burning your arms and your hands. And you, you want to do that because you're, we're doing everything with our hands all day long. And uh, then you get into uh, the air element or prana, the subtler air, the energy that enlivens the soul. And that's at the level of the throat chakra, the nose, because we take in air through the, the nasal passages and through the mouth. So the throat, the mouth, the nose. And then we also experience an energy the, of the soul. And then we make our way up. So that sound is va, and then we make, uh, sorry, the sound for fire is she, and then you go up to the, to the throat, the nose, the mouth, and then the sound is va for the air or prana, and then get into the brain for the sound ya, and then also the eyes. Now, why the eyes? The eyes are the windows to the soul. So we need to windshield wiper. <laughs> we need to wash the karma out of our eyes. And uh, how do we do that is the sound ya will start to activate that. And that is the space consciousness. Again, the Akashic records are in the eternal space and the space way up there, a billion miles away. Uh, but it, there's a deep, deep space within us. And so you will feel this burning with the sound yaw in your eyes and then in your brain, especially during the great night of Shiva. So those are the five sounds. Na, ma, shi, va, ya. And uh, in different combinations, that's what you're going to find out in the great night of Shiva course. It's never been given out before uh, by masters and Dr. Ply has been given permission to do that. So another reason why you want to join because these are the secrets that will unlock those sounds, those vibrations, that understanding of who you are at such a profound level that you can't miss it. You won't blink and miss it. Miss it. it will be with you and uh, it will guide you. So once we get turned on, just like we turn on our smartphone, do we think about it? No, we just turn that thing on or we never turn it off. We just keep charging the battery. So it's always on. We're always firing on all cylinders because we want to communicate fast. We want to be in business. We want to be doing things with everyone. We want to be online. We want to have everything now, 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 now. However, it's making us to spin out because that's not the truth of who we are. That's not the true intelligence. And so if you want to experience the true intelligence, you can have a little preview. Uh, here, I'm going to be uh, do, uh, doing a little uh, demo demonstration, a little demo of how you can activate these sounds within you and feel them in your chakras. And then also receiving the spiritual transmission from the Shiva Lingam. So here is a Shiva Lingam. This is an example here I have in India uh, because I didn't bring all my whole altar <laughs> from Canada here. 
So this was here uh, outside of my room and I said, oh, I think you want to come. So it is uh, a beautiful Shiva Lingam and they're, they come in many shapes and sizes and they come in different forms. So they come in crystal Shiva Lingams, they come in metal Shiva Lingams. This one seems to be like a ceramic type of Shiva Lingam. Uh, maybe it's even like a uh, some sort of uh, stone here in India. This is um, a mercury shivalingam. This is mine. I carry it with me. So this was given to me many years ago by Dr. Ply, and then it got activated. And uh, the mercury is really closely associated with Siddha technology. So I don't even know what it does, but it keeps me supercharged. And, uh, and Mercury is all about communication. It's the money planet. So, uh, you know, these different types of Shiva Lingams will give you different types of energy depending on what you resonate with. So not everyone needs to have a Mercury Shiva Lingam. Maybe you have a crystal one. Maybe you have a quartz one. Maybe you don't even have a Shiva Lingam. Maybe you just have a, like a Rudraksha. So this is um, the tears of Shiva. So this is a Rudraksha bead. And, and then a seed, and you can uh, then use that if you have it. If you have Rudraksha beads, I don't have them, but I do have these, um, the, the Shiva Shakti malas, the, there's the Shiva Shakti in there. This is a bead, a, a mala that I got in, through Astroved services or Ply Center services over the years, and it's for Kamadenu, it's for wish fulfilling. So it has different types of beads, but it also includes the Rudraksha bead there. So you can see. So the Rudraksha means this tear of Shiva. He's crying for humanity because humanity is so ignorant. They're ignoring uh, at large as a whole uh, all the divine blessings coming through. So that's why we have masters come to the earth plane and we, we remember at the level of the soul to at maybe perhaps in this lifetime because you're we're all gravitating towards Dr. Ply's teachings. He's bringing in tremendous teachings to the earth plane. That's his job. And uh, he has the city to change people's destinies. And that he hooked me, hook, line and sinker. Oh yeah, I wanna change my destiny. And it has been, it has been such an adventure in life all these decades and then meeting people from different spiritual paths and meeting people who have gone through tremendous pain and suffering. So getting back to the, this Rudraksha, it represents the removal of uh, pain and suffering. And then that's the seed uh, for Lord Shiva. So if you have the beads, you can use them or chant with them and that will help you to connect more readily and easily with Lord Shiva's grace and, and blessings. If you want to uh, pick a rock or something like a rock, you know, you can go out into your backyard and you can pick a rock um, or maybe you have a beautiful gem at home that you want to use as your Shiva Lingam until you can maybe order one from Ashurvet or Ply Center. And why we say that, it, order it from there is because they are energized specifically for us on our birth star days or on very powerful days throughout the year where you will get that in the mail once it's, they, they finish energizing it, they send it to you and you're just like, whoa, this is amazing. So like last year, if you go into uh, the Great Night of Shiva course and you review the videos, uh, calls that uh, I was hosting, you will see 108 crystal Shiva Lingams uh, because I had waited for 15 years to get it, for 15 years prior. I said, oh, I'll get it next year. Uh -uh. The next year didn't come until 15 years later. So, uh, and then everything is divine time. So that's a really powerful, uh, you know, experience to have when you are pouring your milk on your Shiva Lingam or your Shiva, Shiva Lingam surrogate, and you will feel the energy. It seems so strange or how can that be? But you got to do it to experience it. And then during the great night of Shiva, it just uh, amps it up. And so it's like Shiva Lingam on steroids and uh, you're just like pumped up. So uh, 
uh, we will do the elementalization that we're going to pour some milk and, and juice and water on the Shiva Lingam. So you have a little preview to that. If you don't have milk or juice uh, during the great night of Shiva, then you can just pour water. You can squirt water. You can use tap water. Don't use drinking water that you drank out of the bottle. At least, uh, you know, crack a new one. And then uh, you just can say the sounds uh, Om Namah Shivaya uh, for now. But if you're in the great night of Shiva course, you're going to be saying other sounds and it's really cool. So, but uh, Om Namah Shivaya is the Maha Mantra and it is activating those uh, elements inside of you, those mantras inside of you, those syllables inside of you that are going to uh, restart or kickstart your evolution in a whole new way. Again, keeping vigil, just like uh, Christ said, hey, come on, we got to bring Christ consciousness in. And they couldn't take it. They passed out. So this is a time where the earth plane is uh, not so dark and not so ignorant, although <laughs> politics and religion uh, can be maybe a little bit cleaned up. Uh, if not a lot, but we don't want to get into that. We just want to do something and then collectively we'll see what happens. So uh, the, what is, as above, the beams are going to come in. And then if you're doing the right thing at the right time and you, you'll get the blessings, even if you, can, you don't think, oh my goodness, I'm not from the Indian tradition or I don't know what the heck I'm doing. Uh, that's why we have the the live call to support you so that you will know every step of the way what to do and you'll be so surprised that you will just keep doing it and go to work the next day or do whatever it is that you need to do and super energized. So I'm going to do that now uh, as opposed to doing our meditation because meditation is just getting into a stream of consciousness. You're going to be meditating because you're going to be mesmerized by Dr. Pillai. The beams are going to be coming through his picture and he's again right above me in this uh, house and then he will be uh, his energy will be pouring into the space here and then activating the shiva lingams that i will be uh, pouring the different substances so that you can see how easy it is to do and then what we're also going to do afterwards we'll take off we'll rinse it off and then we'll put it back on the, the altar there and then we're going to offer it the five elements that represent the five items that represent the five elements. So earth is food, water, water, of course. And then uh, the fire is going to be a ghee lamp. Then the air element is going to be the incense. And then the space, what is the space element? It is flowers. So flowers are heavenly, they're divine. In fact, when you give someone a flower, they don't say, oh, why are you giving that to me? They just smile. <laughs> it's a, like, whoa, wow, that's awesome. And uh, so the flower has divinity in it and it will go directly to heaven. So uh, then the, the, the secret, as Dr. Ply shares, we may not know, we may not understand what the heck uh, this leaf can do. Uh, this is called a build leaf and I'm just going to take one off here. Uh, this is a, a leaf that Lord Shiva loves. And this is in the Akash, it's in the space. So this is what the Bilva leaf looks like. And then it will be that which will activate the Shiva Lingam. And that's the secret. We don't know how it's going to happen. And we don't need to, just like we turn on our phone. We don't need to know how it works. We don't need to know how to turn on our computer. You just press the button and it's on or you send a text message, it goes to the place, to the person. How do you know it's gonna happen? How do you know that you're able to communicate with me here? We're doing it. So this is what how the divine uh, communicates and uh, tells us this is going to be the thing that will act, the, the offering that will activate the Shiva Lingam. So if you can, if you have a bill of leaf and you only have one, cause you can't find them anywhere, even in India, they run out. Uh, I was so blessed that uh, I was able to get this big bag, full, which you're going to experience, and we're going to just keep pouring them on the Shiva Lingam. And that's what we want to do is we want to feel the transformation of this preview to uh, the great night of Shiva. So we're prepared. We know we've had a taste tester or we've had 
uh, you know, an appetizer to the main menu that's coming up ahead. So, or the trailer to the movie. <laughs> so that's what we want to do is experience what exactly this is going to do to us. And so if you can just be in a state of receptivity, you, so you are like in a meditative state, although your eyes are open, you make it a little bit sleepy, then you can close your eyes uh, and then really feel the energy of those five sounds when we're going to be saying Om Namah Shivaya. And that's all you need to do during the great night of Shiva, but not like a robot. You're feeling the five elements coming alive inside of you and awakening that consciousness in the whole earth plane. So it's like a vibration. You're just, ooh. <laughs> and you will feel like a rocket ship taking off into the Akash. So you can clean up your consciousness and then we'll, we'll all evolve. Uh, ultimately. And, and so we'll get started. And uh, you won't see me. I'm going to be off to the side. So the main thing is to just focus uh, on the, the altar here. And then I will walk you through when we're going to do the offering so that you, you feel it in those chakras. And then you remember, oh, yeah. So offering some food is good to, to activate my lower chakra and the sound knob. So it's a little bit of an education, a reminder for a lot of us where we're just saying on Mashivaya. Well, we're, we should be click, 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 rocking our chakras. So let's do that with Dr. Ply's grace and blessings. Uh, you will experience a preview to the great night of Shiva and feel him awaken you and then pull you for the next few days into his consciousness so that you're ready to go on his, on his great night. So you can be just uh, looking ahead and then uh, again, Dr. Ply's energy is grace and blessings are so readily available here. So as we do with every uh, puja or elementalization and process, we start by clearing the space. We'll call on Ganesha to remove the obstacles and then just feel in the lower chakra, this energy coming alive inside of you. We have a small image of him here. And then feel your, your root chakra. Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha Nirvignam Kuru Kuru Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha Nirvignam Kuru Kuru Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha Nirvignam Kuru Kuru Make a prayer to Ganesha to remove the obstacles for this celebration to be uh, felt uh, in a very profound way for you and then to remove the obstacles in your life. So we are going to uh, ask Dr. Pillai for his grace and blessings to awaken this uh, Nama Shivaya consciousness inside of you to feel your chakras. So putting your attention on your third eye, in the brain, in the eyes, Feel the energy of a ray or beam of light entering your third eye and your eyes. Two more beams of light enter your eyes, coming from Dr. Ply's eyes and then his third eye as well. So the light is piercing your eyes. Feel the windows to the soul being cleansed, soothed, energized. Go deep in your brain, in the midbrain. Om Dram Dattatreya Shiva Baba Namaha Om Dram Dattatreya Shiva Baba Namaha Om Dram Dattatreya Shiva Baba Namaha. Make a prayer to Dr. Ply to bless you 
with enlightenment and prosperity. The consciousness that is your birthright at the level of the soul so that it comes and awakens your physical, your mental, emotional, spiritual lives. We'll call on the sounds, the mantras that will activate the chakras starting at the base of the spine. You imagine a shooting beam of light piercing all the chakras as it goes up through the navel, through the heart, through the throat, through the middle of your brain, through the top of your skull, and is like a searchlight going higher, 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 higher. You're out of your body. Starting at the base of the spine. Uh, Move up to the heart center, middle of the chest. Ooh. Move up to the throat, clear the throat. Ma. Move up to the middle of your brain, the third eye. Float back down to the base of the spine. Connect with the earth element. Na, 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 na. Move up to the navel. Fill it with water. The belly is cleansing. Ma, 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 ma. Move up to the heart center, middle of the chest, also down the arms and hands. Set them on fire. She, 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 she. Move up to the throat, the mouth, the nostrils. Feel it. Connect with the air element or prana. Wa, wa, wa. Now the two eyes, the right and left brain, feel it. Connect with the space, the akash or the ether. Ya, 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 ya. Feel your chakras. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. Now we'll begin the hydration ceremony. Om Imagine these liquids being poured on you, poured into your chakras. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. Om 
represents the earth element. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. We'll offer water. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. We'll offer fire, the ghee lamp. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. Then we'll offer the incense stick that represents the air element. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. Then we'll offer the flowers that represent the space, the akash. Feel your brain. Feel your third eye. Om Namah Shivaya. 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 Om 
This is the secret of your soul. So feel it unlocking the secret of your soul to remove all the stubborn karmas. Om Namah Shivaya. 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 Om Namah Shivaya.
make a prayer to Lord Shiva, the consciousness that rules your body, your mind, your soul. It is pure intelligence that will burn or purify the karmas that are creating suffering in yourself and in all of humanity. Feel the blessings of Dr. Fly, transmitting Shiva consciousness into you. Whether you understand it, your life will be changed thereafter in a more fulfilling, more rewarding way. There's grace and blessings. Om Brahm Dattatreya Shiva Bhavarnamaha Om Shanti 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 Peace, peace, peace. Peace to the body, peace to the mind, peace to the soul, peace to the environment, peace to the world, peace to the universe. Peace, peace, peace. And just close your eyes and check internally your heart beating, the energy flowing, maybe tears of joy or happiness or sadness, something is shifting. So thank you all for joining this preview to Mahashivaratri, the great night of Shiva. It is gonna be happening on February 21st or 22nd, depending on where you are in the world, I'll be hosting the process of keeping a 12 hour vigil along with everyone who is gonna be joining. We had hundreds last year and hopefully there will be that much more uh, participation because doing something like this uh, during the great night of Shiva pleases the divine in ways we can't even imagine so that miracle consciousness can come into the earth plane and bless the whole earth plane with peace, prosperity, and enlightenment. So thanks for joining everyone. God bless you all. We'll see you when we see you next. And then those of you who are gonna stay, we are going to be having an open uh, discussion, shared experience, if you'd like to do that. So we will uh, open the call so that people can either post a note on the chat or you can share your experience um, once I open the, the line here. If you're on the phone, you can press star six and then you should be ready to. <laughs> that was fun. So uh, you should be able to unmute yourself. Okay. So are there any questions, shared experiences? Uh, hi, Michael. You can unmute your mic if you want. Do I need to do that? Hello. Hello. Hi, Michael, how are you? Hi, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm in a cell phone right now because um, something wrong with my laptop, so. Okay, go uh, ahead. Yes, um, for um, what, what time will be in Pacific time for Shibarati? For Shibarati if you're going to join the 12 hour vigil, it's going to be 6 p.m. Pacific time. Oh, what's the date? It would be February 21st if you're in the U.S. Yeah. Okay. But you, you can just, if you go into the Great Night of Shiva, the course in Fly Center. Academy, maybe someone can post it to the post that link here, then you'll just see right at the top of the page, 
you'll see the call access and then the, the times for uh, the different time zones. Okay. And um, how about the link when, um, when, um, when, when I pour a water to do the, to the Om Namah Shivaya ritual, what direction? North or south? Or yeah, it's a good question. So you can be facing, have the lingam facing either to the east or north or northeast. And then you can be facing in that direction as well. And then just pouring the water on top of it. And, you know, so you're sitting next to that beautiful vibration. Because that's the, the, the northeast is this, the direction to be in alignment uh, with Lord Shiva, although he's pretty easy to um, satisfy. So he says uh, east, north, and northeast. Dr. Ply says that's where prosperity and enlightenment come from, those directions. And as according to Vastu as well, the ancient science of directional strength. So uh, you, you can be facing in those directions. I see. Yeah. Thank you, Sutorita. You have such a glow in you. <laughs> well, curious. I'm here with God. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Nice to see you, Michael. Uh, Radha, your hand is up. Hi, Sutrita. Thank you for oh. leading us through the practice. It was really lovely. Great. Nice to see you in India this time. Yeah, I finally got there after so long. It was, it was, it was really grateful to go. Pretty amazing. And get the empowerment. Yeah, yeah, really, really great. The power spots are really amazing. Someone was telling me that if you just even cross the threshold into these temple power spots, it changes you even before you've done the rituals. Have you heard that? Yeah, well, it's at the level of our subtle body. So when all that karma leaves us, we feel so much lighter. So it's like we get a karmic shower and we don't see the, the actual water or the haze or whatever, but it is. That's why the, the vortices are so important for anyone to activate them. And you can do it proxy. And you know of all people that we've done proxy and you feel it, even though you're, you know, you're in California, I'm here, wherever we are, we feel it. Yeah, that's really true. I didn't really believe that at the, at the beginning, but I had an experience where I did my naughty remedies once. I got the naughty reading and then did the remedies by proxy. Someone else went to the temples and did it. And I was like, oh, I don't know if it really worked. Uh, but then a year later, I had the opportunity to go to India. And I did the rem the same remedies myself. And I just realized when I was there, like, oh, this, I've, this has already been done. This would have been, I just really had the strong feeling like this would have been so much harder, like so much more pain uh -huh. and suffering or would have come up. It was kind of like, it was more enjoyable and so in that way just for myself it was like a little experiment for myself I guess I realized like yeah the proxy remedies really did help awesome. yeah well anyway I had a question for you yeah about Mahashiratri mm -hmm. I was thinking about going to a temple this time and maybe because I found a, a nice temple that I like and they're going to be doing the all night vigil and i might i was thinking about going there and then tuning into the webcast <laughs> well oh I'm my there. god just... that would be just <laughs> that'd be awesome uh I, i've shared that i've done that as well rada where i've gone to the temple and and did an all-nighter with the temple and it is really powerful so if you do if you're in a a place in a city where they do celebrate in the the temple try it out it's so amazing Okay, thanks. I just wanted to check because I wasn't sure because they might, I, I'm not sure how it would be. They might probably be chanting Om Namah Shivaya all the time, but then we're going to be on the webcast and we'll get, we're going to get the different, slightly different forms of Om Namah Shivaya, as I remember. Yeah, so well, I, you can I was just wondering put your if that would be in. weird or what. Yeah, you can just put your headset in. Okay. Okay, great. I think I'll try it because for me, it's actually, it's very hard for me to stay up all night. Just something about me like wants to sleep at night. And so I think it might be more energizing to go to the temple with a bunch of people too. 
Oh yeah, and you're interacting, and you're you're going around to the different sanctums. You're not just hanging out in front of the lingam. You're you know there's it's a big place. A lot going on. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you so much. I'll let the next person. Ask uh, a thank you so much, Rada. God bless. Uh, is there anyone else who has any questions, or you want to jump on? You can just unmute your mic, or you can raise your hand if you know how to do that on Zoom. Uh, Bilva is uh, the, the name of these leaves, or Vilva. You, you might hear Vilva, Bilva or Vilva. Uh, that, so it's, it's the leaf uh, for Lord Shiva. And again, it unlocks the secrets. So the spiritual realms, the, the tools or the keys that unlock the secrets are uh, symbols and uh, you can get access to this. And the, the beauty of this, if you just have one, Shiva, uh, sorry, Bilva or Vilva, you can use it again and again and again because Lord Shiva knows you may not be able to get any more. So you can hang out with this. It can dry out even and then just dip it in some water, bring it to life and then use it again. So, uh, you know, don't be discouraged if you just have one. That will, because it's the Kali Yuga, it's not easy to do these um, techniques to awaken the consciousness, to connect with one-on-one uh, -on -one with Lord Shiva during the the power time so like Radha was sharing it's she has difficulty staying up so the god got into her the consciousness got into her and said all right listen you're going to fall asleep so go do something physically move yourself to a uh you know a place of the power spot and the temples it's just like a, this big celebration that's going on and time flies when you're having fun so uh, if you haven't done that, or if you have, and you want to revisit it, I, I really encourage everyone. And if you want to, uh, you know, follow along with the Padas uh, by the webcast, technology gives it to us. We just put in our headset and our earbuds and off we go. We can do it all. So however you do it, it's you're getting the download or the upload or upgrade from the divine. And that's what your soul is pushing you to do. So uh, as Dr. Ply said, and as Christ said, you know, wake up, you guys, this is it. So uh, experience it for yourself. This is what Radha shared. It's her own experiment because who other is, who else is living your, your life? So whether you believe in this or not has nothing to do with it. It's like you take the key and you stick it in the ignition and it goes, or you turn your computer on, your smartphone. You don't call up your friends and say, hey, I'm turning my thing on now. And it's, why? <laughs> so you already, the, the intelligence is there. So just follow the intelligence. Karen, your hand is up. Hi, Sujarita. How are you? I just wanted to share an experience with the last year's um, Shivaratri. My daughter, who was in college at the time, was home and she experienced it with me. And last year, you encouraged us to make sure that we took a shower after each sort of a cycle of the vigil to sort of wash off any of the karmas or things that came up uh, during the, the ritual and the importance of putting on fresh, clean clothing. Well, I didn't listen, and I actually experienced a lot of difficulty and pain and discomfort and emotional agitation, but yet my daughter did. She took a shower. She first put on clean underclothes, but the same pajamas. Then she realized, I have to change these clothes. I still feel heavy. So she would shower, put on fresh pajamas, and just she was so invigorated and had an outstanding year after that where she had been having some emotional challenges before so this year i'm already prepared with a change of clothes um you know nice exciting things to use for my showers and rituals to and you know wash off the, the energies that are going to be released and surrendered during the process so i just wanted to share that with everyone um, my experience of not doing it, and I certainly will honor that this year. Oh, wow, that, that's amazing. Well, you had a great experience through your daughter. Like, what mother doesn't want her daughter to have the best? So, 
Are you, can you hear me? Yes, I muted myself again. Uh, okay. That's a great sharing, sharing Karen. <laughs> and uh, is, your, is your daughter going to join you this year for more fun and adventure? Yes, she is. Oh, great. So it's a very good tip. Thank you so much for the reminder because uh, those people who may not be joining the, the night vigil that we're all going to be gathering together, it is really important to cleanse. So uh, the siddhas say that if you cleanse five times a day, you will keep your karma at bay. And not all of us can do that. And it doesn't mean a full on bath or, you know, uh, soak in the tub or, you know, long shower and wash your hair and everything. It can just be like a 60 second shower. You're just cleansing the aura, really. Uh, and then you will feel, as Karen mentioned, you'll feel that whatever has come up for you will, it, it's just, it's stuck there. And it's stuck in your clothes too. So it's a small sacrifice to uh, uh, pay or to observe that um, discipline because uh, what you'll receive like Karen was saying about her daughter, to have an amazing year. Who doesn't want that? So uh, you can do that, or uh, you can just you know one wear one set of clothes throughout the night. But again, use it as your own self experience. If you feel like you're sweating through uh, one of the kalas, which you do, the kundalini energy really starts to get on fire. And uh, it will fire you up and you will sweat and you will feel this, the karma and, and maybe have some emotional, ex, uh, you know, upheavals or experiences where you're just, a, you know, you, you just want to get rid of it all. And you might even throw those clothes out or give them away uh, because that in and of itself, again, is old, representing your old identity, your old way of being. And we're trying to change that and shift it. So uh, thanks for that reminder, Karen. That's awesome. And I'm so happy that you're going to try it out. And I'm looking forward to hearing your amazing year ahead. So God bless. Any other questions, comments, shared experiences? I'm not sure if uh, anyone has posted the links to the Ply Center Academy course, just so that you know, it's called The Great Night of Shiva. And uh, it's a very powerful course. Again, you're getting initiations with Dr. Ply. And most of us haven't visit, visited those meditations for quite some time. So where our soul is thirsty, our body is like, yeah, give it to me. Uh, you know, so it's, uh, it's, it's great to review it, revisit it, and then you know, see how you're feeling compared to last year or the year before, whatever year that was that it came out. And every moment is new and we're never the same. So even if we do a meditation or we've done some teachings that can get activated and uh, wake up something inside of us that we weren't ready for maybe last year or the year before, or whatever year we celebrate, or even if we didn't at all, uh, celebrate the great night of Shiva were brand new to the teachings. I, actually, you're the best because you, you're in wonder. You're like, oh, what, what is this all about? And that's, as Christ said, you have to have the wonder of a child. And the masters always say that, be childlike, not naive, but be childlike and wonder, whoa, what's happening to me? And observe and pay attention and bring more awareness. And then thereafter, you'll be just like, oh my God, I feel it. I'm in the throb of Shiva consciousness and you're just breathing it in and breathing it out, not with your, your breath, like your air. It's your, your, the mantras are breathing in and out of your chakras. So it's a really great night to feel your chakras, not to stay with maybe one chakra focusing on the third eye or focusing on, you know, the throat for different, um, uh, blessings or different techniques you're focusing on all and it's just moving you through the cosmos and you are one with the cosmos and then you're coming back to the earth plane but you're not freaked out about it which many people do they go into deep meditations and then they come back and they say i hate this world uh you know and that's not going to cut it so we want to evolve ourselves so that our world shifts 
around us collectively, the whole world could, but we, uh, as Dr. Ply shares and all the masters do, you just be at peace within yourself and true peace. You can't fake it. And with this throb of Shiva consciousness, and you'll just be like, oh my God, I tasted it. I want more of that mojo. So, uh, and thereafter, you will be just all of a sudden you're working or you're at the bank or you're shopping or you're picking up your kids or you're having an argument with your spouse. And then you feel this throb and you go, oh my God, that's the reality, not all this other stuff. So it's not that you're not going to do the other stuff, but everything will shift. It will be so much faster for you. So um, Manoj is saying, I have a question just to clarify doubt about karma removing, removal. Can we chant Kirino Tantam in the nighttime or early morning? Yes, Makaroshivaya Nama is also a chant to remove karma. You can do that chant. You can do it separately. You can do it together. You can focus your attention on the throat. Imagine a laser beam of blue light entering the throat and then pouring down the shoulders and pouring down all the chakras and up uh, like a fountain. And that can be done at any time. So it's like you're going and doing uh, laser surgery to yourself where you are uh, purifying any thoughts that are stuck in the throat with the poison that Lord Shiva swallowed and his, his, his throat turned blue. So that's the myth. And then uh, when you think about the chakra systems, all the energy is coming up and it gets stuck. And generally speaking, what happens is we say something, we're urged to say something because we had a thought, I should say this, and it may be good, so that's good karma, or it may be not so good, and that's bad karma. So the throat is that doorway to be cleansed all the time. You want to chant them on uh, Great Night of Shiva? As Dr. Pai says, just stay with Om Namah Shivaya. Or if you're going to join the Great Night of Shiva, then each kala will have its own um, uh, seminar, the the, the uh, teaching and then also the mantra. And that's what we want to do uh, is each kala, each three, hour, three hours, you're just diving in to this aspect of your being that you can't really feel on any other day. You can chant, you can feel something, but on the great night, it's just like, whoa, again, it's on steroids. So uh, we want to experience that. And then thereafter, you can just tap into it so easy. So Rosanna Tufts, what I would recommend for you uh, and anyone else who is wondering what your time zone is, once you purchase Great Night of Shiva or if you've already purchased the Great Night of Shiva, then just go at the top of the page and then go into there and you will see the timing. So it will say Friday night, uh, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So, or it might be Saturday, which it will be here for me. It will be Saturday uh, morning. And then I will carry on for 12 hours until the evening. So that will be kind of fun uh, to be diving in. And anyone else who is here on the on this side of the pond, uh, the globe, then you're welcome to join as well. So we uh, were encouraged by Dr. Ply to wake up the West we need to wake everybody up in the middle of the night. We've had a good sleep over here in India. No, we would have stayed up all night ourselves. So we're really rocking here in India. So that'll be interesting for me, uh, having been staying up all night and then continuing on. OMG, there is evolution. I never even thought about that. Well, the divine will do it. <laughs> so that'll be fun. So someone is saying, uh, here, I'm in Sarisate, just begun. I have had been doing sadhana, chanting uh, Shanae Sarayanama. Can I do this mantra for part of the time? What I would do, uh, Rosanna, as well as Dr. Pai shares, just stick with Om Namah Shivai. Why? Because that is going to activate your chakras. So that Lord Saturn, his job is to put you on your spiritual path. So you're already doing it. So your job is done with Lord Saturn. 
So uh, pay attention to Lord Shiva during the night vigil. You can carry on. And it'll be a Saturday in no time uh, for you. So you can honor Lord Saturn. Or if you want to every now and then you can. But the main focus, and this is so typical of all of us, we want to do something else. We don't want to stay focused because maybe at this deep, deep level, we're kind of afraid what will happen. And uh, the divine is always uh, playing with us in that dangling the carrot. Can you imagine what your life would be? Can you imagine miracle consciousness? Can you imagine having amazing relationships? Can you imagine being able to manifest your thoughts that you want to manifest and then demanifest things that you thought you did, but no, no, now I don't want to. So doing that is, um, you know, something that the divine has this play going on inside of us. So make sure what we do is we stay focused, just like in life. When we are, uh, you know, in our lives, we're so ADD, we're so attention deficit. We just want to be shiny thing, shiny thing. We need to be entertained. We got to fill up our day. We got to fill up our, and we're just going here, going there. And we're like Tasmanian devils, you know, in the old cartoon with the, the road runner and the Tasmanian devil, just blah, blah, you know, so doing the practice as Dr. Ply shares and all the masters who do this practice, regardless of their tradition, this is interesting, regardless of their tradition, you may not know this, but they all tune in during the great night of Shiva. And then they bring in that cosmic energy into the earth plane because you can feel it. It's not something, oh God, I hope it all works out. I hope, you, I hope you're hearing my prayers, all these neurotic prayers. So you will feel the connection. You will breathe it in and out of your being, your chakra system. You will stay focused on the mantra only and that will become you. What is you? All your chakras, they will be alive. You will feel the soul being connected to the cosmos. And then you'll just live your life, karmic or otherwise. You'll just be like, whoa, this is cool. And people will be attracted to you. And you'll just be like, oh, even better. And then people will ask you to do things that you've been wanting to do for like a gazillion years and you haven't been able to do it. So that's the magic of this great night. And I, I can't say enough about it because every year that you keep vigil, your life changes forever. So try it out and, say, and then just stay focused. How many of us can be focused for 12 hours? <laughs> Not many. So, uh, and that's okay, the divine knows, but if you're pouring the the milk or juice or water, or we're gonna have honey, we're gonna really get into it on the Shiva Lingam. Uh, you will feel that vibration as if it's being poured on you. And it is, metaphysically it is. So that's like a mind like what, you know, and you then you don't, you can't deny it because you're feeling it. No one's saying, oh, you should feel this way or you should feel that. You're like, whoa, this is it. So um, Rara is saying, last, uh, I used Bilbo powder last year and it was transformational because I couldn't find the real leaves. I ran out of everything. So make sure that you have enough for all the hydrations. Yeah, that's a good idea. So um, it doesn't take too long. And even if you just pour a few drops, it doesn't have to be like gallons of it. Uh, it can be just, to, you know, you take, a, what do I have here? I've got this little uh, cup and then you just look at this, just a few drops. You can just pour it on the lingam. So Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya, you're done. And how will you know is that you will feel it you, because hydration is God. You, we're mostly water, uh, our being, uh, as a human being, we're pretty much three quarters of water in all the cells of our being. So it makes sense in order for us to have this physical, metaphysical, alchemical experience, subtle body, uh, energy body experience with the divine, it's coming and doing a dance. So it needs to be hydrated too. 
So we hydrate these symbols, they radiate out and we are hydrated already. We're full of the uh, pretty much three quarters full of water. So we can really do the dance. We can feel that without water, nothing can be alive here on the earth plane for too long anyway. So, uh, you know, you can fast. People say, oh, you know, should I fast? You, the thing is, you'll have so much energy, you don't want to eat. Because you, you generally, we, we eat because we're emotional. We do emotional eating. We're not even really hungry, but we think we are um, because we're trying to feed our emotions. Or it can be there's, uh, you know, the energy is low and we're trying to take food in to get more energy. But during the great night of Shiva, you can fast, um, meaning that you can have some juice and you can just so your blood sugar stays up and then are at the correct level. If you are prone to hypoglycemia or you have some disease, you have diabetes, something like that, or heart condition, or, you know, just do things um, naturally for you. You don't have to pass, uh, you know, take what you need. And then, um, you know, if you feel like you're sleepy, just go splash water. You can have a cracker, you know, but you won't because you'll be busy. You'll be busy doing the mantra. You'll be busy listening to Dr. Ply, doing the meditation. Then you'll be busy doing the um, Abhishekam. Then you'll wash it off. Then you'll do the, the puja offering. Then you'll finish that. You'll sit in your, you know, meditation. All of a sudden you're going to the next. So you might go to the washroom. But, uh, eating won't be something that you will be naturally drawn to even think about. So, um, ah, Michael's saying here, the Eucharist. Interesting. Any other questions, comments, shared experiences? Please go on AstroVed or Ply Center blogs. Uh, go on to the YouTube, watch Dr. Ply. He has very short clips, like four minutes. Um, and you get this energy of Lord Shiva and it just like, whoa, it's a taste tester, uh, you know, to give you that preview of what it would be like uh, during that time where you open the door and you walk through it and you're with Shiva consciousness. So, and again, what is it? It's removing suffering. So people say, well, I don't understand what the great night of Shiva is, prosperity, enlightenment, whatever. But it's all about removing pain in your life, whether it's your own pain. You might be like a happy camper, but everyone around you is in pain or they're suffering. Then that energy will be in you because your world is a reflection of you. So all that uh, Shiva consciousness that's coming in during the great night of Shiva, it will be there readily available such that you can, you don't even have to think what Reiki on steroids gets done and you're not even a Reiki master. So I'm just using that as an analogy. The energy just transmits to the different people in your life. And I've had this said to me so many times, my siblings will say out of nowhere, you're praying for me, right? And I'm like, I'm not even thinking about you. But they're feeling the prayers that are coming in uh, through my efforts. And then because they're a part of my life, they're part of my genes. We share the, the same genes, some of them on uh, the DNA. So that gets activated and uh, then they feel, they feel the energization, but they're not quite sure because they're not on the same path as I am. But since I've been on this path with Dr. Ply, all of them are very spiritually evolved and they're really going uh, on their own unique and wonderful journey. So again, we don't, we don't need to torture anybody's soul. The, the soul already knows what it needs to do. We don't have to pull it onto our path. But doing this um, is honoring the souls and your soul group. So it's not only your family, it can be your ancestors who are freed. And you, you'll have these mystical experiences as well, uh, where some people over the years and who have, we've done it in person together, and we swore that Lord Shiva came into the space. He himself was in our space when we were chanting and doing the all night vigil. So really cool things can happen. And what does that mean? Well, it's, it's like we're praying neurotic prayers, but when you have that experience of the divine being 
coming in at his time or her time. You can't deny that. And then it keeps you going and keeps you going towards your spiritual path because that is the highest and fastest in time. Melissa. Melissa? Oh, hi. Can you hear me? I can. How are you? Hi, that was a mistake. <laughs> oh, you don't want to talk to me? Also, I wasn't <laughs> planning on it, but <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm, I'm very happy to hear your voice and see your face. It's been so long. And I'm looking forward to uh, the Shiva Ratri to do it again last year. I did it for the first time with you guys, and it was the best Shivaratri I've ever experienced. I've been doing Shivaratri for about 12 years, but last year was superlative. And um, I'm looking forward to it again. And thank you for holding the space for all that. It's yeah. really, it's really life changing. It's really, it was really life changing. I totally agree. And doing it virtually as a group and all the baths and <laughs> everything was when I thought about it beforehand, it felt like, oh my God, that sounds so tedious. But doing it was so empowering and so powerful and and just great. So I recommend it highly to everyone. <laughs> oh, <laughs> to join. Yeah. That's that's great, Melissa. Thanks for everything, Sucharita. I'm going to go now. Oh, have God bless you. Day. And thank you for sharing and inspiring others. So we're going to have a lot more on the calls. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. God bless. God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. So that's what it is. Uh, you know, you, we, we go through life and we're just wondering, is this the right spiritual path for me? Uh, a path is just something that you're going towards. It's not like it's laid out in any way. We're bringing in the teachings of ancient times for this modern day life and world that we live in. And so how does that happen? It's a mystery. And that's why being with the Siddha, they don't, they're not saying, oh, you qualify or you don't qualify. They're just saying, try it. You'll like it. <laughs> and then continue on. And, um, make yourself to realize that there is something greater that's going on behind the scenes or in your own being and that's the true transformation so this is the great night will it, that will erase so much karma in so many ways so here we are with dr ply and he is going to be activating 320 shiva lingams in these very ancient power spots and it's the time to do that. It hasn't been the time to do that. And it is now like pop. My head is just like, what? And I, you don't have to understand what it is, but it's just the, the magnitude of the grace and the blessings that is going to come through and then radiate out into the whole earth plane. Hello, that's kind of fun. So that might inspire some people to sponsor those services, participate in it because collectively, you're, we're doing something that's beyond our own personal uh, seeking selves. We've already found, uh, you know, we found that we're messed up and we're finding that we need to do something that's beyond just meditating and spacing out. That's painful in and of itself. So we want to get to that point where we're taking action and we are creating or co-creating some, a better piece of the world to, to begin with. And then it'll just radiate out and then when we get to that hundredth monkey, uh, you know, in the experiment where the scientists were goofing around with monkeys around the world and uh, way back and they didn't have internet and they didn't have phones and all that stuff, well, cell phones. But then all of a sudden when the hundredth monkey in those experiments uh, got to do whatever it was, then all monkeys could do it. <laughs> so we're going to stop monkeying around and we're going to collectively commit to doing something that is just super crazy maybe in our lives it sounds like it's going to be super crazy for me to do uh, in a whole new way especially back to back so whoa what's that going to be about it's not going to be me for sure it'll be the divine coming through and then you will know that it isn't 
that everything is possible and, and things that we thought were impossible, we will be able to do it. So sacrifice like you do with your time, your money, your energy, your resources you, in life and you're just going round and round, but you sacrifice your time and your energy and do something spiritual. Boom, sky's the limit. In fact, space is <laughs> the final frontier, right? So uh, Radha has posted, sign up or open up your night of Shiva because it has a coupon. Oh, you've got a coupon. So you can uh, get a coupon for the specials for Mahashivaratri. Thank you, Radha. That's the blessings. Um, Nityanandam is saying, we love this. Let all the PhDs wake up now and spread via morphogenic resonance lighting up a ball. Yeah, that's what it is. So all the scientists know that God consciousness is beyond what we can uh, prove uh, as scientific. And it's not that that's the end all be all. There, we have to experience God consciousness. So Great Night of Shiva is it. So even at CERN, they have the dancing Shiva as the uh, symbol for um, creating the energy and then sustaining the energy of the universe and then, um, you know, destroying any negativity. So that's always been there and forever has been misunderstood or only a portion of it or a fraction of it has been understood. So that Shiva consciousness is inside of us. It's not in a statue only, but we need that so that we can feel the vibration. We need to pour the water, the juice, the milk on the Shiva Lingam. And we need to do it at the right time. And with like-minded people, then that expansion starts to breathe the throb of the universe. And what does that mean? We'll go and see what your life is in that next year until the next great night of Shiva. So that's what I wanted to share with everyone here. Uh, if there aren't any questions or shared experiences, we'll wrap it up. And thank you everyone for participating today, jumping in and enjoying the blessings coming from Dr. Ploy, who's straight upstairs and uh, literally. And then also he's in your heart and souls guiding you. Just trust them. It's uh, something that so many people over the years, over the decades that I've met, they have said, my God, he's a true guru, meaning he's a sat guru, a true, the guru of the truth. The truth of who we are is not of this body. It's not of the things that we're doing. The truth is that we can manifest and de-manifest. Like Christ said, hey, I'm God, and so are you. But we've got to realize that. So it's the time now. And then uh, Great Night of Shiva is going to wake that up and you're going to just be like manifesting whatever you want and demanifesting as quickly whatever you don't want. So if that's not inviting, I don't know what is. Just come on. And even if you can't for that night, you can definitely dive into those course materials, get the initiations of Shiva consciousness into you. And then for the year ahead, you will receive those blessings. So God bless you all, everyone. Thanks to Dr. Ply for showing us that it's super easy to do. And regardless of our tradition, regardless of what our uh, understanding of anything is, just doing it, participating, showing up, you get the blessings. That's pretty good. So the, the simplest is the easiest, and then the easiest is the fastest, and then the fastest is, well, miracles. So who doesn't want that? All right, everyone. God bless you all. We'll see you when we see you next. We'll see you during the great night of Shiva, whether you're coming to the vigil or you're going to participate on your own. Uh, we'll be connected at the level of our souls and we'll be praying for this world to be a way better place than it has been uh, up until this point. And then God bless you all for a prosperous and enlightened year thereafter. Namaste.